Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a very important night in our community's history. Well, the history is every community writes its own history. That is how we have the existence and historical records. We came to this country for a better life. And when the history of the Guyanese, East Indian, uh, Trinidadian, South Asian cricket community is written, Weezer and Robin Sharma, affectionately known as Pops, will have an indelible part in that history. Why is this so? Because cricket is not only a sport. Cricket is not only a pastime. Cricket is part of us. Cricket is what drives us, and cricket is what inspires us. Life is a game of cricket. Because cricket has success and failure. It has ups and downs, lows and highs. And when you look at the game of cricket, it is a reflection of what happens in our life. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. Sometimes we start, sometimes we fail. And it's that acceptance of life and failures that is part and parcel of the existence and the experiences of each and every one of you here tonight. And that is why you have to accept cricket for what it's become and where it has taken us. And Robin Sharma has played a very integral part in being a trailblazer and a founder of that. And right now we should give a very warm round of applause to the person who made it possible to be here tonight and who made sure that the legacy of Robin Sharma is not forgotten. So I ask you to stand and give a warm round of applause to Mr. David Suku. Stand and acknowledge what he has done and the greater impact and what he thought of doing and what he made happen because David took it upon himself to ensure that the legacy of Robin Sharma. And don't forget, don't, not only is David a very great priest and can do great things, but a lot of people forget that David is also very good, is, is also very, I should speak in the past tense, is also a very good cricketer. Because David bowls a leg break that turns the ball square and gives a lot of batsmen, accomplished batsmen like myself and many others, trouble. So let's give him a warm round of applause and hope he returns again and bring those uh, talents that he has. You know, David is younger than me. So I encourage him to come back into the game and let's get this game going. So brothers and sisters, I've been playing on the same team with Desert Hawks, you know? So they, we go back a long way. Myself and David, all 25 years, we go back a long way. But brothers and sisters, we're here for Robin Sharma. And let us never forget what this man has done. You may think, oh, you know, cricket, you just put on the uniform, you go somewhere and you just play. And then you take a beer after. It's never about that. It's about the discipline. As a matter of fact, I tell you this. I have a lot of trophies in my office and in my home. And many of those trophies I treasure just as much as the trophies that made me a lawyer, a magistrate, a state prosecutor, or whatever accomplishments that I have. The cricket trophies are also a blessing. And you know why? Because it's very challenging for you to maintain. To maintain that composure. To maintain that strength of character. To maintain that stamina. And when you think of the cricketers like Sachin Tendulkar and Shedan Rain Chandra Paul, very small people. But to play that amount of years at 200 test matches, as in the case of Sachin, and 165 tests, as in the case of Chandra Paul, you have got to respect these people for how they carry their bodies, how they ate, what they put in their mouths, and how the discipline they exhort to reach that level of the game. And on a smaller scale, that is what we do with cricket in this community. So brothers and sisters, the legacy of Robin Sharma, Pat Sharma, is very much pronounced that he was also a teacher, that he was also a motivator. He was also a person who brought a lot unselfishly to the game. It wasn't about money for Mr. Sharma. Cricket didn't have that kind of money because you got to pay the parks a lot of money. You got to go on, and, and they think we all say, oh, they will take a lot of money, you know. I will pay a lot of money for this, you know. They will take a lot of money. That's not about that. 
You have to buy balls, you have to buy score sheets, you have to pay umpires, you have to do so many things. So I think there should be a greater respect for umpires and all those involved in promoting the game of cricket. Too often we wash our mouth on people in this community. It's fair game that you see people say, oh, that person is bad, that person is a, is a this or that person is a that. That's like second, second nature to us. From time a person's name comes up, we never find out what that person went through, what that person did, what that person did for our community, what injustice he faced, what uh, boundaries he crossed, what mountains he climbed, what depths he went, and who ever did it before, or who will ever do it after. So brothers and sisters, that brings us to a point in my own life that I will tell you that unless you can see the other side, unless you can appreciate each other, you will never understand what it is to stand on a threshold of greatness and of concern for a community. And in each of every one of you, you have a responsibility leaving here tonight to take that legacy that started with Robert Sharma. As a matter of fact, when I started to represent this community, it was Mr. Sharma who instilled in me that, you know, Albert, you should try to do something for your fellow man. You should try to help us out to get things done because we have no representation. So in the very way that he represented us in promoting cricket, he passed on that lesson to me that I should use my talents also in trying to represent and fight the system. Because we are not part of the system. We are not included. If you feel you are included, then you must be looking in a different mirror than all of us. Also have to think that way. But we are getting there and we are making a lot of strides. Just as our cricket is now played across the whole spectrum of Queens and Browns and so on. And it's coming here in the World Cup. Cricket has taken off and it will take off just like our lives have. Where we recognize as Americans, we recognize for who we are. We recognize as equal to anybody else. And that is the legacy and the lesson here tonight. That cricket, just like us, have reached the threshold of inclusion, happiness, equality. And that we belong and that nobody can disrespect us. So I want to give all these gentlemen a warm round of applause. Because what they stand for from Raj Batura to Mike Balpan to David Super to Sabrina Armigan and to Mr. Tira Miranjan is that they are giving of their services. They are giving what you cannot do or what you will not do. Many, I think that Omkar Singh gives a lot into the game. These are people who bring their talents and bring their energies. They can easily be sufferers, but they make sure that they can promote the game because in promoting the game, they are promoting us. They're promoting our people. They're promoting our culture. They're promoting us on the map. And let us continue that legacy. It's time for Robin Sharma. See it in a wider context. See it in a wider picture. That is all you do. So instead of putting each other down, lift each other up. Lift each other up. That is what you have to do. Appreciate the work of Mr. Sharma. Let's stand and give a warm round of applause. Remember Mr. Sharma. Stand for him, Mr. Robin Sharma, please. Bob Sharma. Put your hands together and let's He left his family many times unattended just to make sure that we could come and have a game, game, real, game, cricket. Brothers and sisters, God bless him. God bless us all. And let's continue to strike together. As we, and, and God bless Mr. Sukutu, who's taking on a very hard task. Because he has seen there's always somebody going to come. Some snake is going to come behind you. Right, David? Somebody going to call it from somewhere and try to pull down what you are building. I have seen that in my own life. Now when I run and I stand up and try to represent you, there's some snake going to come behind trying to pull you down, my brothers and sisters. And there's another thing that they can run for that they will not. But it's a proud mentality, as I talked about. And I tell you on the shame of being looking straight in the eye, it's a proud mentality that we've got to get rid of. So David, good luck to you, brother, and to your committee as we try to do this.